Hi folks, Bob Biznet, part of the team here at Tri-City RV on Wilder Road in Bay City, www.tricityrv.com. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on a Cherokee Grey Wolf 22RR toy hauler, a lightweight toy hauler. 4,833 pounds can be towed with many half-ton vehicles, many half-ton SUVs, camping with the toys in a lightweight travel trailer. Let's go. First thing we're gonna notice on the outside is that this Grey Wolf toy hauler is wired with a solar port. This solar port allows you to primitive camp, not plugged into shore power, with a portable solar panel. As you can see, it's a nice sunny day today. With the solar, solar panel positioned properly, I get a constant charge to my battery. So I can use 80% of the things in my trailer without being plugged in to shore power with an endless supply of power from the sun. I know that when we think about four wheelers, we think about bikes, we think about hauling toys, normally we're out near the trailhead. There's not always 110 power hookup at the trailhead. So the solar charging port on this toy hauler from the factory is probably one of the greatest features of this toy hauler in my opinion. We've got a large storage compartment, radius corner storage compartment. As you can see up there, it's heavily reinforced with extra studding. That's under the bed area of the trailer. The average floor and sidewall truss on a Cherokee Gray Wolf and Wolf Pup is 12 inches on center. The majority of travel trailers out there are 16 inch on center. Cherokee puts extra studs in their floors and in their walls. Their Gray Wolf, their Wolf Pup, all of their products come with more than enough structural integrity from a studding standpoint. Attractive radius style insulated baggage doors. As we come over here, we've got our Solera power awning. Our Solera power awning is an industry standard on a lot of trailers these days. I've seen a shift away from the manual awnings. Um, some of the concerns about the power awnings are, what do I do if it rains? Well, in this case, with this Solera power awning, I simply pull down on the patent protected tilt feature on this unit and all my rain runs off the awning if it rains. And then when it's done raining, I can pull it up into the full position so that I can get the maximum sunlight coverage. The Solera awning also has a blue LED strip which lights up your patio area but does not attract the bugs. Every Cherokee, Gray Wolf, and Wolf Pup that we carry comes with a friction hinge door. The friction hinge door can be opened halfway, it can be opened three quarters of the way, or it can be opened all the way. No more T-handle to hold the door shut. In a 40 mile an hour wind, this door will not slam. I remember one time I was showing a trailer, I got halfway into the trailer, I didn't latch it, the door hit me on the Achilles tendon and about knocked me out. I don't have to worry about that when I'm showing a Cherokee or a Grey Wolf. We have a quick release of screen door. No more sliding the screen door panel open with this handy dandy little feature here. This door is also a radius to corner fiberglass entry door. Less expensive trailers, trailers in this price point, some of them have a square aluminum pebble finish. This is a fiberglass radius door which you see in higher end coaches on the market comes equipped with a folding assist grab handle with a handy foam grip. Radial tires with easy lube axles. What I would do is, is I would pop these caps off and maintain my bearing grease by popping this off and squirting it with my grease gun. No more taking it to the shop for an expensive wheel bearing pack. 
on the outside of this gray wolf as this one is equipped with the limited package we've got outside speakers inside the unit there's a stereo and dvd player with a male bracket for the tv bracket the nice thing about it is is i can unhook my tv from inside the trailer bring it outside hook it up here underneath this is where i would plug my tv in and under here we have our coaxial and video hookup the video hookup is so that i can hook a video cable up to the side of the trailer and watch movies from my interior dvd player outside under my patio on it as we come around to the back of the trailer a lot of trailers in the industries these days you'll go to dealers lots and they equip them with the power jacks at tri-city rv we believe more in the manual jacks the manual jacks you can get them tighter they stabilize the trailer better and we've found that the 12 volt motors on most of these power jacks are very expensive to replace and we recommend a 14 to 18 volt drill with a bit to crank these down to get them really stable. As with all Gray Wolves and Cherokees, this unit has a structural I-beam main rail frame, not a tube. I know there's manufacturers out there that use tubular steel frames. They're less expensive, and when I think of construction and I think of a weight-bearing wall when they're building a pole barn or something, you always use an I-beam frame. This comes with an I-beam frame. As we walk around the back of our toy hauler, I have the ramp open, and I have this neat option that we order, and it's a screen room. The screen is open on this side, on this side, I have the privacy panel, so if you want to change, but you want the air, you can roll down the privacy panel. If you just want to sit inside your gray wolf and not eat, get eaten alive by mosquitoes or gnats, you can roll that down, sit inside your unit, enjoy the beauty and the sounds of outside without getting eaten alive by critters. Gray Wolf comes with a detachable power cord, which we'd hook up right here. Another thing this Gray Wolf has is a black tank sewer flusher. What I do is, is I hook up my water hose here, and there's a line that leads down into my black water tank. And in my black water tank, there is a high-speed jet sprayer that cleans out the inside of my sewage tank so that when I'm dumping and I pull this valve to dump, I'm spraying all the crud, all the stuff off the sides of the probe so that my monitor panel works more accurately. I have an outside shower with hot and cold running water. And I brought my wrong key for the outside shower, but I was able to make it work. This is an excellent fish cleaning station. I've set tables up before, gone perch fishing, and used this to clean fish. It's also nice to spray the kids off if they're all muddy or they've been swimming. A nice feature, hot and cold water on the outside shower. And then I'll just set my head there as we move along. This unit is equipped with a suburban six gallon turbo gas and electric hot water heater. The gas is auto ignition. We flip a switch inside the unit to ignite the gas. On the outside, we've got a little toggle switch down here. That's very difficult to see, but by turning this on, we can heat our water on 110 volt electric while we're plugged into shore power. Why not use the park's electricity instead of our gas to heat our water? On the front of this Grey Wolf toy hauler, we have a heavy duty reinforced diamond plate rock guard, an extra thick aluminum in an aerodynamic profile on the front, along with the Grey Wolf Signature Limited X 
exterior deluxe graphics. We've got a 3,500 pound electric A-frame jack. A three-year-old child can raise and lower this jack, the tongue on the unit. It makes hooking up our weight distribution bars a lot easier with a front power jack. When we speak of the A-frame and the I-beam frame, this Gray Wolf does have a powder-coated frame. Less maintenance, less spray paint, keeping our frame looking nice. Now we're going to head on the inside. Inside, as I look around, I see some wonderful, attractive, real wood cabinetry. This is real wood, folks. Real wood framing and ultra deep cabinets. I can stick my arm in this cabinet all the way up to my elbow. They give you a lot of storage in every Gray Wolf and every Cherokee on the market. This particular Gray Wolf also comes with one year free roadside assistance through Forest River and 24-7 RV technical and roadside assistance. This being a toy hauler, this would be our toy area back here. I've got a fold down table positioned over on this side that I can sit and eat. I have this folded up for a purpose so that I can show you the cargo area with the flush mount tie downs. But this also folds down into a complete sleeping area across the back. So in essence, we could sleep five adults comfortably with the front bedroom and back here, or one, two, three, four children and two parents very easily if this were in the folded down position. Another plus to this particular model and the Gray Wolf and Cherokee line of trailers are these LED lights. These are LED lights that are throughout the trailer. They last longer, they draw less power, and they light up the interior of the trailer much better. They make it a point to allow you to turn your ceiling lights on and off with a switch. As you can see them, they're going on and off. If it's too much light with my thumb, I can shut off one or two of them so that when I turn the switch on, only one light comes on. Another feature in the kitchen is this skylight. If that becomes a little bit too bright, they put this kneaded, neat pleated shade to block some of the light. A Magic Chef microwave with carousel and a very elegant suburban drop-in cooktop with this very nice glass frame. And I really like the way that this looks. It's very functional and also serves as extra counter space. And we all know you never have enough counter space in an RV. Throughout this unit, we'll notice we have a solid surface countertop. <clears throat> no T-molding edge on the countertop. This is a non-porous resin countertop. If we spill something, it's highly stain resistant. It wipes up clean. And with every Gray Wolf and Cherokee on our lot, it features a pull-out faucet with sprayer and a super deep sink. I've seen a lot of units with really shallow sinks, and they call it a 60-40 sink. The only problem with the 40 portion is, is it's hard to even fit a head of lettuce in it. I like the really deep sink in this particular unit. Another feature of this toy hauler is the pantry. And I gotta be honest, for a 22-foot toy hauler, I never imagined a pantry this large. One, two, three, four, five shelves. And if you'll notice on the shelves, they all have a really deep lip on them so that your food stays on the shelf it was an intended to and doesn't fly out as you're traveling down the road. A Norcold 
six cubic foot refrigerator, double door, plenty of space inside of there, plenty of shelves to store all your perishables. The unit features Duotherm central ducted air conditioning, 13,500 BTUs. When I first get set up camping in the summer, sometimes it's really hot inside the trailer. And this unit features what's called the quick cool louver, where you can open up this little louver and all the air will rifle down into the trailer. By closing this, we send the air through the ducts in the ceiling to other forward portions of the trailer which we're headed to right now. Every Grey Wolf in Cherokee that we order comes with a crank up high definition Weinegard antenna. Very easy to get 12 to 15 channels on this antenna with the signal booster in today's world we live in. With a flat screen TV, you'd be surprised the crystal clear clarity you can get from this Weinegard high definition antenna. Our furnace and our air are operated off of this digital thermostat. As you can see, it is digital, which makes it a little bit more accurate than the old analog type. I remember wrestling with the old analog type. I'd turn it to 70 and it felt like 90, and I'd turn it to 60 and it felt like 30. These digitals have come a long way and really made a difference. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head into the bathroom area. And our bathroom will feature a fantastic fan. This is part of one of our packages that we carry on this unit. And this fantastic fan discharges 920 cubic foot per minute, and it's a three-speed fan. Now, I've got the door open on this trailer behind Amanda, our camera lady. Whoops, excuse me, hon. And on low speed, low two, or on high, as I stand here, I can feel the air coming in the door behind us. This Grey Wolf toy hauler features a Dometic 3 Series toilet with foot pedal flush. I know when I go to use the restroom at a public facility, I usually use my foot to put the seat up. The nice thing about this is I don't have to reach behind to grab a handle. It is a foot pedal flush toilet and that's the way I like it. A glass shower enclosure. I can stand in this shower with this skylight. Now I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall and I can stand in here because this Grey Wolf has a skylight over this shower. Very roomy, and every tub and shower in a Grey Wolf is double reinforced, meaning that they use studs, adequate studs, and it's very sturdy as I stand inside of this unit. In the bathroom, I have my solid surface countertops. And what I'd like you to look at is this real wood medicine cabinet with extra deep shelves and lips to keep lips to keep all of your stuff steady as you're driving down the road. Now we're going to head into the main bedroom. And as we head in, we've got our walk around queen size bed. This is a 60 by 75. And what I'd like you to notice on both sides of the bed, we have nightstands with 110 outlets, 110 outlets on that side with a nightstand, hanging clothes wardrobes that are easy to reach and will fit a full hanger, by the way, and overhead storage. Also a convenient reading light. What I'd like to say is, is I like where they position this light a lot of times the lights are directly overhead, which about blinds you when you're laying on the pillow. This light behind illuminates what you're reading and doesn't blind you while you're laying in bed at night. Large windows in the bedroom. We've got a vertical panorama window 
over on that side of the bed as Amanda will turn and show you and each window in these gray wolves has a pleated nightshade for privacy easy to operate and no noise no noise as opposed to the mini blinds found in many competitors trailers as Amanda comes inside the bedroom we also see this female TV bracket again where I can pop a TV in here this is reinforced behind this wall and they give you a coax hookup I know I like to lay in bed and watch the news and fall asleep and a plug for our television as we head out of the bedroom I'd like you to notice that this unit is wall-to-wall -wall linoleum. This is bow floor, which is a residential linoleum. And this is over the top of five-ply plywood. Every gray wolf and Cherokee is built with five-ply marine-grade plywood flooring, not OSB. The five-ply plywood is also tongue and groove, which eliminates a lot of squeaks and softness. I always say when you're looking at trailers, give it the stop test. I can tell by the sound, I can tell by the feel that the 5 8 inch plywood floor is far superior to the quarter inch Luan over Dow Styrofoam that I see in a lot of trailers out there. Well, I hope you like the tour of our Gray Wolf 22RR. Don't forget to visit us at TriCityRV.com. We're on Wilder Road in Bay City, family owned and operated for over 20 years. Thanks, and I'll see you again soon.